thought I got out early enough to beat them down, but here comes Faith and the Mega Chick. Hello, loves. The Mega Chick. They're coming right for me. Good Lord. <laughs> Look at the, their necks. Their necks go at the same time. They're in sync with each other. Hello, Junior. Oh, and there's Hope and her two babies. Wow. We got all the big ones all in one frame. Oh, our timing is perfect. They're all coming down from their wrists, forming their morning pride. <laughs> any more they're coming from that tree behind the roof there well hope and her two babies went the other direction and everybody else is following the mega chick and her mom let's see where they go Boy, the chick's really starting to look like a pea hen or whatever when it moves. Y'all get your bits. That is one small pea. I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is a new pea hen or one that has lost chicks. Heartbreak. Miss Crookie. And she's down to one chick. Miss Crookie and another hen. I just don't know who the other hen is. And how many chicks she may have lost. Highly unlikely they just hatched one. Hi Crookie. This guy hates peacocks, whose yard they're all hanging in. So I don't want to stay here too long and came around the block. It was perfect to catch Hope and her chicks. Hello. You have a noisy friend with you today. <laughs> that is the, the hee-haw call, I call it.
Well, you're almost as big as the mega chick. Water, huh? There you go. This is all they really need is a reliable source of water. They can eat enough. They get enough out of the just out of the environment, just the yards. And somehow they're not getting poisoned. I mean. 30 years ago, these guys would be getting poisoned by chemicals used on the lawns and snail poison and whatever. But it seems like they got a good run here. We sure are having a drink. I've been going at it for over a minute. So cute. Oh, the mockingbird starting to is annoyed at their presence. Oh, pea mama's going up there to regulate. 